And welcome everybody to another episode of Star Ocean. And today, uh, we're going to do a little bit of side questing, and I figured out how to fast travel. Yeah, I don't think you can do it in cities. Huh, it's Albert. I should talk to him before we meet up with Theo. Oh, well, I guess we should talk. If it's forcing me to for the quest. Not the look I'd expect from one who's about to reunite with a comrade. And where's your smile? This is what you wanted, isn't it? Returning home with your maester in tow? You seem ready for a funeral. Maester Felgreed's support is but one part of a much larger plan. This will be the first step of many. I feel ya. Even with Chloe back, it doesn't mean we're any closer to home. Ray, about that, I've been meaning to ask this for some time. I already know where this is going, and the answers are resounding yes. Ray... We're in this together, right? I've got your back. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. Finally going to meet up with Chloe. <sighs> Where the hell is everyone? Guess I'll wait for him at the gates. What's up, Elena? I have a proposal, though I'm sure you'll reject it. We should take our leave of Leticia and the others once we've secured Chloe. Is that some kind of joke? You're not really one for comedy. They're assisting us in rescuing Chloe in return for our help in seeing Midas to the royal city. Which, in my opinion, they should be able to do on their own with Theo's aid. An unidentified developed planet holds some malevolent sway over Aster Four. Your safety, as well as Chloe's, could become compromised should we involve ourselves any further. I'm sure we'll be fine. Come on now. Besides, we can always steal the ship. Ray. Antonio's gonna be swooping into the rescue any moment now. Unless his ship gets blown up. And off. besides, Nina's counting on you. <laughs> Do you really think we can just turn our backs on them now? I am only making a pragmatic recommendation as your first mate. I will defer to your judgment. Okay, drop the heady talk, and don't worry. I'll know when we're in too deep. That was probably episode one. I hope you are right. Ray! Elena! Sorry for the wait! No worries. Shall we hit the old dusty trail? Yes, let's. Okay. Uh, there's a temporary company here called Guest Characters. Okay, good. Now, let's go. Come on. There we go. Got to hit right trigger twice. And that unlocks everything. Okay, good. So let's see. We need... Head here. Yeah, it's not like they explain that. You got to hit right trigger twice from the world map and it brings up the fast travel menu. Okay, so let's go see what our little crafting lady needs.
Anyone home? appreciate you taking the time to pay me a visit. I would like you to obtain the following item. Thank you very much for accepting this task. Please carry it out at your convenience. Uh. What the... What's with this funny talk? What could have happened? Huh. Okay. Well, I guess I'll bring what she needs first and then I'll ask. Uh, well, chill the minute. The, the what? Okay, I need what now? Okay, I can craft it, or I, which is a rare craft, or I can simply buy the material, buy it. So, let's see how much full I have versus how much it's going to cost. Definitely, I Anyone can buy it here. Welcome. I'm trying to figure out how to get scrap iron. Hitting the wrong button, that's the problem. Anyone home? Mm, 
Darn it. They clearly knew something was up before. What do I do? <laughs> Maybe I should just tell him the whole truth. <laughs> sure, of course. I'd be glad to lend an ear. Where did you come from? Uh, nice job getting this for me. Uh, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. As a reward, I'll give you a lesson in the engineering secrets of the Vineyard family. I, I mean, it would do me great pleasure to present you with... Uh, forget it! To heck with that stupid polite speech, I might literally tie my tongue in knots! Fine, I'll fill you in on everything. My family thrived until my grandpa came around. He had to give up our manor and almost everything else because of his crazy spending. And the only assets left for me as the head of the family aren't worth deadly squat. Despite all that, the beautiful Welch Vineyard will not lose heart. I'm gonna use my family's secrets to create a bunch of items, sell them, rake in the fall, and restore the vineyard name to its former glory. Wow. So, that's why I needed to bring you so much stuff? Bingo! I get to secure the items that I need to develop new products. And you get a crash course in item creation 101. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Way back when, everyone in the Vineyard family called this sort of agreement a win-win relationship. <laughs> Cute, right? And now that you know my secrets, we're gonna be in business till the end of time. Yeah, depending Scavenger on what goes on, that might be close to the You are the last hope. I'll take this over running deliveries any day. Now, let's see here. Simply because I just I, I just remembered it. Well, let's first of all save. Just bump the uh, master volume a little bit there. Let's see what this creation I just got is. Consider feats of engineering my forte. There, finished. Yep, yeah. and look at feats of engineering your forte. Yep, sure. Consider feats of engineering my forte. There, finished. Consider feats of engineering my forte. There, finished. You know, for somebody saying, consider them your forte, you're giving me crap. I'm a grease monkey at heart. Not what I expected. Mm. charge me to talk to you? No. Okay, so we got that quest done. 
I think I need to go on the, the mountain for that. That's a seaport, that's the region. Let's go take care of some of those reapers. I couldn't think of it. Oops. Did we... Yes, we did finish exploring up there. Enemies up ahead. Warning. Enemies up ahead. Well it's not totally useless. Way we originally went. Positional tactics in effect. to figure out where these Death Spectre moors are.
Prep for engagement. Oh, hell yeah. Positional tactics. Ah. Out of my space. Usefulness low. Perilous attack incoming. Execute blindside with acceleration. Wow, come on again. Oh, there's that done. So it's a report, so you put me at the complete opposite side of where I need to be. Enemies up ahead! We all work together! Uh, I'm thinking we got turned around somewhere. The capital lies to the northeast. No, oh, I know. I'm just doing quests. Enemy, dead ahead. Another one. Destroy. Oh no. You intend to make a hobby of scaling mountains? We are going to a that's all we know. Out of my face! Accelerate! <laughs> Threats no detected. Oh. No, that's not where I want to go. I want to go... I'll go down there. We have company. Crap, you're right. Howdy, howdy, Talon. How it goes? I'll prevail. <laughs> so it's been a quiet night so far, or been busy? wasn't a little nervous about going to the city. To reach the royal capital, take the Osarian High Road. From there, continue straight until you arrive. It looks to be rather far. We should be wary of monsters while we Sorry. travel. Wow, you really did it. Thank you so much. Now I won't have nightmares every night. I'll take this over running deliveries any day. Okay. <laughs> so let's, uh, uh, so far I've been doing pretty good. So we're going to continue on with our quest now. Finally figured out how to fast travel in this game. Which is something I had access to far earlier on. But just didn't know how to do it. Over here, 
Levels low. We got this. A win in two. Oh, the lock. Right, you better all the time. Out of my face. Might as well. High Road is just beyond here. Well, well. Leave it to the daughter of Maester DeForge to have actually found a cure for Helgar's disease. Oh, um, it wasn't just me. I had tons of help from the others. And to be honest, we're gonna need everyone's help if we ever want to get rid of the disease for good. We found a cure, but on the other hand, we're also on the brink of war, right? You have the right. Not your fault, Commander Theo. But I know world peace isn't just gonna happen because we discovered a treatment for Helga. Then I suppose I must fix it upon myself. Leave that much to me. I know that you will, Commander. Get ready to fight, everyone! If we continue traveling east, we should arrive before long. Warning, energy levels low. Breath neutralized. I love it when there's animations, but the game is freezing them. It's like, come on, it's an animation. Destroy. Some stuff is run better on console. Hey, is that the royal capital to the east? The one and only. 
At last, we have come so far. Yes, we are nearly there. Let us hurry. Sir Theo, am I to understand that the Kingdom of Osirius and the Vale Empire are on the verge of war? Elena, if my comments on such matters were perchance overheard by others, it would be taken as public record. Well, what can you say? The situation is... delicate. The Empire is going to great lengths to exert pressure on Osirius. Even now, they encroach by land and sea. I'm sure that's the extent someone of your station would be able to disclose. Well, is there any possibility of war breaking out at our current destination? Do you truly think a knight commander of royal blood such as I would deign to suggest the royal city be in any danger? Forget it, Elena. We'll find out for ourselves soon enough anyway. Right. I was just curious. Please excuse me. You've nothing to apologize for or worry about. I don't intend on allowing harm to come to any friend of Letty's. Sorry about that. She's a huge worrywart. And a caring ally too, it would seem. Take good care of her. Magnate with genius level smarts. You there, scavenger? I need another item, so get yourself to my place in Delrick at breakneck speed. You copy? Breakneck speed. Okay? Mm hmm? Tick tock, tick tock. Go in the city, then we'll go back and find out what she wants. Get the next level of crafting up and running. What a beautiful city. At a cursory glance, it is not too late to turn back. After all the effort it took to get here? I understand you, Maester Felgreed. But I will defer to Ray's judgment. As is your want, there is work to be done. Let us make haste to the Royal Palace. We should not keep Chancellor Neon waiting. Right. Hmm. Okay. Since this place is now unlocked, we can go back to Delric and find out what she wants now.
Anyone home? Talk about tardy. Didn't I use the words breakneck speed? I can only get here so fast. Jeez. Oh well. Anyway, I need you to get me this. Alrighty, you know what you need to do. Make like a bullet train and zoom. How do you know what these are? Electromagnetic bombs. I think I'm gonna need to craft those. Maester is capable of. Solidly done on my part. Material need for it. not be able to pull this off right now. Hmm. Because <clears throat> I need electromagnetic triggers to be able to pull this off. Really? Hate it when it does stuff like that. Oh. Okay. So let's get. Back to the capital again. I'm not gonna bother fighting these guys. There's a chance I might be able to pick up the uh specific equipment I need here, but I doubt it. So quick stop in the item shop and see what they've got, and then from there we'll continue on the story. That was quest giver. I just blissfully ran right past twice. Oh, you're not. Uh.
My mom usually sends me letters all the time, but I haven't gotten one today. It's odd. Oh, I know. Uh, would you be able to go to Rival and, and pick up her letter directly? Hmm. If I go myself, then the whole letter thing starts to feel a little pointless. I just really enjoy getting them from her. And with a name called the Manipulative Man. Yeah, I can wait till later. Let's just continue the story. See, the royal palace is to the north. We should head there. I can't believe how huge it is. And yet I find all this standing. This place is kind of excessive. The royal palace. It's even more imposing up close. Mayon is waiting for us inside. Wow. I can't believe all these people know Leticia. It goes to show how close the crown is to its people. Yes, she does enjoy some popularity. Will she truly have need of my help? Princess Leticia! I appreciate angry. the warm reception, Neon. When I heard of your little excursion from Commander Theo, my heart stopped. Whatever were you thinking, Sir Albert? Her Highness had a very good reason. Did you truly think yourself solely capable of protecting the princess? A one-man army or... Calm yourself, Neon. We have brought Leticia back safely. And what's more... This recklessness on her part was not in vain. As of this moment, all she has accomplished is worrying me near to death! <sighs> this is precisely why I hate the royal palace. Where do you think you are off to? Somewhere I can give your arm a proper examination. Come when you are ready. Who in heavens is that man? How dare he speak in such a manner before royalty? He means no offense. That is Maester Midas Felgreed. Please show him the utmost respect. Midas... Uh, Midas Felgreed? Him? I apologize for my long absence from the royal palace, Neon. But I would ask a favor regarding the matter Commander Theo brought to your attention. Ah, uh, perhaps you speak of the prisoner we captured near Baldar. <sighs> Huh. Might these be the strange companions I've heard the princess has been traveling with? Without the aid of these two, my journey would have been all the more arduous. The kingdom owes them a debt of gratitude. Very well, Princess Leticia. I will send word to notify the general of your safe return. No need. Let us first arrange a meeting that these two may be swiftly reunited with their ally. But, Your Highness... Uh... 
I was led to understand that none were aware of my absence prior to Commander Theo's report, yes? Surely news of my return can be delayed. <laughs> I see. Very well, Princess. It may yet take some time, however, as the prisoner is currently being held in the Baldar Citadel. You must arrange for her immediate release. I understand your urgency, but I cannot make any immediate promises that the prisoner will be set free. We can discuss the matter further. If you would follow me to the council chamber. That guy definitely is an ass. I am impressed you had the wherewithal not to speak up back there. Well, I know Leticia and Theo will keep their promise. If I had butted in, it likely would have just complicated matters. I will have to admit, I was worried you were on the verge of opening your mouth. Anything I might have said would have paled in comparison to how she handled it. from the garden the ones we're looking for? Indeed. They lead up to the second floor. Father will not be joining us? Oh. Have you not heard? His Majesty is leading the frontline defensive at Baldar at the behest of Captain Bertrand. He is where? Isn't it a big risk having your king on the front lines? The royal standard is on display above the Baldar Basilica to indicate His Majesty's presence. It serves as a warning. The Imperials know there will be a reckoning if they attack now. Nothing set in stone. But can we turn this all around with Midas' help? I mean... He was one of the three wise men. Do not speak as if years of history and tension can be undone in a single night. Breaking our current formation just for Maester Midas would serve as nothing more than an invitation for the Empire to commence their attack. Letty, tell me something. What exactly is it you intend to ask of Midas in the first place? If you are considering playing at the idea of forming a band of semiomancers, I am in vehement opposition. Furthermore, we have no sufficient proof that this ragtag band that follows you are not, in actuality, Imperial spies. They are nothing of the sort, I assure you. I believe both you and Her Highness speak true, Sir Albert. But it is not I who needs convincing. His Majesty's brother, Duke Clemrath, currently presides over the royal city. I will not have free reign under my father's orders. Ray, Helena, I cannot guarantee your safety. You must understand, my hands are tied until the tensions at Baldar ease. I hear where you're coming from, but you're talking like the war's already begun. What would you know? Well, if left unchecked, spies could run amok, raise cities to the ground. But if espionage on the home front was such a chief concern, why would the king be sent to the front lines? <laughs> a harsh criticism. Sounds like you've assumed from the start that everything Leticia's doing is a waste of time. What's wrong with a princess fighting tooth and nail to do what's best for her kingdom? Neon, if permitted by my father, I am sure the general could be convinced. Or even your lord father, cousin Theo. What? Consider the situation. I doubt it will be easy to entreat my father concerning a prisoner of war or the sudden return of Maester Midas. It would be best if I spoke with him directly. Wait, your highness. Baldar would be thrown into a disarray if you were to venture there now. This is of the highest import for the future of the kingdom. Do not worry. I will not disrupt a thing. No one shall be the wiser of my presence. <sighs> Say something, Sir Albert, Commander Theo. When her highness speaks thusly, there is no changing her mind. Just so. Currently, a permit is required for all who would enter Baldar. Come, grant her passage, Neon. 
Who knows what she may do if you choose not to? <laughs> Very well. But do be careful. The situation at Baldar may very well erupt into chaos at a moment's notice. Thank you, Neon, Cousin Theo. Apologies, everyone. But I will not be accompanying you to Baldar. After all, Kato still needs someone to defend it. Yeah, I can't we understand. That. Thank you, cousin. Letty, if you sense any danger, turn back immediately. And that goes for Ray and the others as well. We will, rest assured. No, we won't. And Albi, please continue to watch over Letty for me. I will do what I can. You sound as if you've given up already. I suppose you're my only hope then, Ray. I'll see what I can do. Have <laughs> I no one to count on? Ray, let us pay Maester Midas a visit. He is like as not to be in the Semiomancy Consortium. Sweet! Target sighted. Target sighted. We got that one, so where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I've, I I feel the no, boredom. No, not at times. here. Um, there is not here to see. These are my chambers. M m my apologies. Uh, uh, let us leave. <laughs> Target sighted. Oh, there it is. Sweet! The ultimate gag collection. <laughs> yeah, good protection, guys. I just walked right in. Mancy Consortium is located on the east side after departing the palace. Sweet! Semiomancy Consortium is on the east side of the plaza. Uncle Midas is waiting for us there. To the east of here, you shall see the Semiomancy Consortium. I wonder what it's like in there. Hmm. I'm not currently seeing any shops, so we think we're kind of going in that aspect. So it was you who showed it to Leticia. I admit it. How could I not? I shared in her anguish. If our knights are to face the Imperials, we will have need of them. Do not suffer children their foolish dreams. You are why I find myself here. Hmm? Maester Midas, Director Melthea. Ah. <sighs> I am relieved to see you return in good health, Princess Leticia. And who are you? I am Melthea, the director here at the Osiris Semiomancy Consortium. 
A pleasure to meet you. Midas was just telling me of the pleasant journey you all had together. So, how did Tox go with that twit Neon? <laughs> well... <laughs> um, so now we're heading straight for Baldar. And for what? I said I would support Albert and Elena. But I will rescind that promise if you intend to risk your lives so meaninglessly. Our good friend Chloe is being held captive in Baldar. We have to get to her. You understand, this is not up for debate. Hmm. I will not prostrate myself before the king. Go, return with your friend. I shall await here. Thanks, Midas. <laughs> you seem to understand Maester Midas quite well. Uh... Let us speak of the matter upon your return. <sighs> you have places to go and people to free. I truly pray time is on your side, Raymond. I never introduced myself. Let us make haste to Baldar. We have not the time to dawdle here any longer. Doesn't look like there's any other ones. Okay. Okay, um, you know what, I think we're pretty much at wrapping up point, so thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and we will see you all next time.